This is an informational video, but before we get into it, I want to explain to you what really happened to the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, a long, long time ago, many ages ago, in the valley of the dinosaurs, the dung beetles were down in the sewer doing a sewer rehabilitation project. And they decided they had to set a big, ginormous sewer plug in the sewer. <laughs> Evidently, they overinflated it. There was a large explosion. It rocked the whole valley. Then the dung beetles come flying out of the sewer. <laughs> and they killed all the dinosaurs. <laughs> Except for me, because I was down the storm sewer looking for small rodents to eat. <laughs> so I am the only living survivor. <laughs> now I want to talk to you seriously now about pneumatic plugs. Every year sewer workers are killed and seriously injured due to their lack of knowledge regarding the proper installation and retrieval of pneumatic sewer plugs. As I travel around the country, I hear heartbreaking stories of those who've lost their lives because they had no idea the forces they were dealing with. Just recently, I was in Florida conducting a training program. As I began to talk to the group about plug safety, someone raised their hand in the crowd. They said, we just had a person killed last week. I said, really? Well, evidently the sewer worker was down in the pit inflating a 60 inch diameter plug. Its maximum pressure rating was four PSI. He had no idea that was four PSI as multiplied by the number of square inches inside the plug, which is over 200,000 square inches. He inflated the plug to 14 PSI for a total combined force of 2.8 million pounds of force. For some unknown reason, he entered the pit, he stood in front of the plug, it exploded. He took the full force of the explosion and he carried it 100 feet down the pipe. I could tell you many stories like that of those who came close to losing their lives and have even lost their lives using everything from an 8 inch pneumatic plug to a 60 inch plug. But I'll say no more about that now. Let's proceed to the video and educate ourselves on pneumatic plugs. A pneumatic plug is a cylinder shaped object that typically has metal ends and is connected in the middle by a rubber bladder. It's inserted into the pipe and air is pumped into it causing the bladder to inflate stopping incoming flows. You may have seen one of these pneumatic plugs on a shelf in your shop. These devices are not typically used on a daily basis, hence this is where the problem begins. Because plugs are not often used, training is typically overlooked. Then when a plug is needed, it is usually in a crisis situation. The following story conveys this message. In July of 2000, a water line had broken and water was flooding into an eight inch sewer line. The flow needed to be stopped. An 8 inch plug was located and a worker was lowered into the manhole with the plug in hand. Once the plug was inserted, he called up to the tender to inflate the plug. Now the air control apparatus for the plug did not contain an air pressure regulator. The plug was over inflated and it exploded in its face. We hesitate to show you the results of this explosion, but we must in order to call all of us into action those who are responsible for the health and safety of our workers. This horrifying accident could have been prevented if the proper training and supervision had been taken. After 13 operations and over an eight year period, his facial reconstruction has been completed. I have heard too many stories such as these over the years. Can you imagine the heartache that you would suffer if it was one of your workers? Remember, when using these plugs, there are two pressures that should not be exceeded. The pressure inside the plug that could cause it to rupture, the pressure behind the plug which could cause the plug to forcefully exit the pipe. We thank you for your time in viewing this video and we hope our objective which is to make you aware of the inherent dangers that exist when using pneumatic plugs has been accomplished. Remember it's our responsibility to ensure the safety of our collection system workers aka dung beetles. That's who I affectionately call sewer workers, dung beetles because they help us keep our poop moving. <laughs> they roll it down the collection system to the treatment plant and they get it away from us. And without dung beetles, without collection systems, without sewer treatment, there'd be no civilization. Until next time, remember, life is short. Enjoy it till it's fullest.